press Hello! Play. Did you press play? I pressed play. Oh, whoops. No, my screen doesn't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> screen has a headache. <laughs> screen has a headache. <laughs> so today we are doing volume of spheres. Did you know that looks like an H? The whom? Mm, well, it does. <laughs> and that looks like an um, I or something. I don't you know, know, people make fun of my handwriting. I can see why now. It's okay. You make fun of mine. That's true. I gotta even. get your back a little bit. We're so we're doing volume of spe spheres today. So you can't <laughs> I can't speak. A sphere. I doubt I can draw this. What do I do now? You draw the little dotted line that's like, uh, no, nope, not like that. <laughs> a sphere looks something like. Oh, you, do, you do this. It's like an yeah. So sphere. it's kind of like a circle, and you know, it's just it's. Think about the earth. That's a sphere. A ball. A soccer ball. Oh, a soccer ball's a sphere. We should totally find the like volume of a soccer ball because that would be fun. A gumball. <laughs> a gumball. Um, so we're talking volume of spheres. I've got to My like... fist. No, it's not very sphere. You're it's... right. You're no. right. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Our learning target today is we will find the volume of spheres by... Using the corresponding formulas. That looks like a W. I was like, wing the corresponding I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm writing really fast. It's okay. See, now you see what, what happens with me <laughs> when I write and with you do this to with me. With your itty bitty handwriting. My itty bitty handwriting. So we'll find the volume of spheres by using the corresponding formulas. Again, we're doing formulas. Not that bad. Make sure that's written down. Pause if needed. Most of you do. You know it's funny? The week that we had, like, crossing out and we did things, my kids were like, I had written the whole thing, and then you changed it because I pause it once you get there. That's hilarious. <laughs> I know. It makes me laugh. So, the formula for volume... Did you just say it makes you cry? Damon? It makes you cry? Aww. Yeah. Damon Majerski says it makes him cry when we change things on a video. Aww. We just called you out on video. You'll get to watch this video. You're going to watch week. it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he turned red. <laughs> the formula for volume no, of a that's sphere. His sweater. his sweater is red. His sweater is red, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. I wrote what? What? Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I'm also saying, wow. Yeah. I mean, it's not nice, but you know what's really nice? They use calculators. And a formula chart that gives this to them. Oh, yeah. So oh, they yeah. don't even have to memorize this. They just have to know what that means. So let's talk about that three. What does cubed mean? Uh, times x times x times x. Okay, so if I had four cubed, I've got four, four times, times four, four times, times four. four. It's yes. not 4 times 3? Correct. Okay. 4 times 4 would actually be 16. 16 times 4 is something I can't do in my head. 64? Yes. 64! Yeah, because 4 times 4 is 16 times 4. Yeah. Yeah. I did it in my head. Look at that. <laughs> so that's 4 cubed. So the cubed, you just have to remember, it's not times 3. It's the number multiplied 3 times. Janet has a fishbowl and wants to know how much water she needs to fill it if it has a diameter of eight. I'm assuming this is a circular fishbowl and you drew the picture of the fishbowl. I did. For me. Show the <laughs> I love the fish. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at his little bubbles. So Janet's fishbowl is circular and she wants to know how much water she needs to fill it. I mean, when you have a fish, I really hope you're filling your fishbowl all the way up. So it wants to know the volume because you're filling it. Um, so does it use the word volume at all? It doesn't, no, but, but it does say fill. Fill. Okay. fill is a key word for volume. Yes. So we know volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Our diameter is 8, so what's our radius? Our radius? Hey, do, does anyone in our, like, our, our extras know the radius if the diameter is 8? Six. Think five. about it. Four. What is it? Four. Good oh, job. there we go. Our JV for the save. Yes, he Good says job. that it is four. Our radius is four. Because remember, your diameter is half, or your radius is half of your diameter. Oh. Oh, there we go. He's got it now. I didn't know what you said. <laughs> it's okay. He's getting extra help today. So then we've got the radius was four because we did half of our diameter cubed. Hey, that's really funny. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that we just did that. Four cubed. Hot with 64. So we've got volume equals four thirds pi times 64. You guys already saw me do that, so you know that. Um, what is, um, 
Four thirds pi times sixty four. Oh, dead gummit. She's my calculator person, and she's not I know, doing her I'm job. Not paying attention. What is ah, it? Four thirds. Four thirds times pi. Times pi. Times sixty four. Times sixty four. Volume is approximately two hundred and sixty eight point one. And that would be. Oh, you didn't give me units. Dead gummit. I'm always liters forgetting. cubed. No, we're not doing liters. Milliliters. It's water. Because it's a di but it's a measurement of diameter. But di it's, you're doing water. I know, but we're doing space, inches cubed or whatever. No, we're doing water. I understand that, but if your diameter is eight, it's eight inches or eight centimeters or eight something. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> Should just be units. Units cubed. Let's 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 call it a draw and call it units cubed. Units cubed. There you go. Ha. So now, find the volume. Because you can have water in feet. Hello, pool? No, because that's in like I know, liters. but when you do like figure out how much water is in there, you need to find out how much the pool holds so it's feet squared or whatever, and that's how much water is in there. My, mom's, understand isn't the water. In, my mom's is in gallons. We talk about it, it's a certain number of gallons for the volume. So how do they figure it out? The measurement, they have to convert it maybe? Maybe. Let's do it. Dude, dude. Bonus dude, question. Bonus question. Bonus points if you can figure it out. Yeah. Why can't I, if the diameter is eight, eight, but we want it in, let's say, liters, how do I do that? How do, do the research on that for us. Figure it out. Remember, I just made up this problem. Yes. But, so that's why we did units. So figure that out for us. Yes. Okay. Find the volume. If we have a sphere, you're much better at drawing spheres. It kind of looks like a Pokeball, though. <laughs> but you know what? A Pokeball is a sphere. Find the volume if the radius is 7. We know volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So volume equals 4 thirds pi. What's my radius? Mm, 7. 7. Are you sure it's not my diameter? I'm sure. Because okay. it goes from here to here. It does. What is 7 cubed? Oh, by the way, did you guys know there's a way in your calculators to do this? So if you're on your calculator and you're like, I want to do cubed, I want to do seven cubed, I'm going to push seven and this little button here, this is called the carrot, use the carrot, carrot three. Do you see how it's got that little up arrow? That means it's seven to the third power. Seven cubed is 343. So I've got volume equals four thirds pi times 343. Now I'm just going to plug all this into my calculator. Miss Green's been fired from calculator duty. Why? Well, you were busy, and I decided to show them how to do it on the busy. calculator. Busy? I'm not busy. I'm never too busy for my computers. <laughs> so my answer is 1,436 point. Let's go 8. Again, we didn't have units. Because it's Miss Green who did it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> units cubed. We're going to have a funny talk about that in the next video. <laughs> Miss Green was funny. <laughs> Anyways, we are out of here for today. That's it. That's it? That's it for Spears. I didn't Spears. even get to teach anything. That's because you were doing something. I'm sorry. That's okay. Peace out. Bye.